Bionic Dance is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Uh, all of you have probably heard of some militant atheists, as so many people call them. You know, there are examples like Richard Dawkins. You mean this Richard Dawkins? You're watching Bionic Dance. Let's do this. <laughs> Greetings, fellow space travelers. Bionic Dance here. Today we're looking at a fellow who goes by Toby Toes. He seems to have a bug up his keister about atheists who don't take any shit. Or, as he calls us, militant atheists. More than anything else, he doesn't quite seem to understand what's really driving the uptick in this attitude, which leads him to some very erroneous conclusions. Uh, and I just wanted to make a quick video expressing my opinions on these people because I feel like they aren't doing as much good as they, sh as they think they are doing. That depends on what we're trying to do, doesn't it? However, there is no we, though there are a few groups out there. It's not like atheists have congregations the way religions do, or people with some similar ideas, but we're not united by doctrine and dogma. In fact, all there is to unite us is our need to fight back against the theists who are misbehaving. That's what I'm doing when I argue against religion, making sure it only intrudes on people's lives when it's welcome. If you want to call that militant just because I tend to be a bit forceful and unashamed about my opposition, well, then I'll cheerfully own that description, thank you very much indeed. The fact that these people are so angry about the existence of religions and the constant blaming of religions of all the world's ills... That is very much an exaggeration, at best. Whether it's through ignorance or being grumpy, I can't tell. But I don't know of any atheists who've taken such an extreme position. Maybe they exist, but in very small numbers, and they don't seem to speak out. It's mad. They blame... They claim that religion just starts wars and all wars are because of religion. All wars. All wars? Again, who says that? And are you denying that religion plays a major role in a lot of wars? World War II had nothing to do with the Jews. The Catholics and the Protestants in Ireland never had a bit of a tiff. The Inquisition? Don't be silly. Religion never played a part. And that minor skirmish in the Middle East? Well, the two sides representing different facets of the same religion? Why, that's just a coinkydink, isn't it? Oh, I can name a few wars that weren't fought over religion. The American Civil War comes pretty quickly to mind. If religion played a part in the Korean War, it was kept very much on the hush-hush. Okay, a lot of Americans seem to think that fighting communists had at least a little bit to do with battling atheism, but I think that was pretty damn silly and not a major cause of Korea, Vietnam, or the Cold War. Calling them godless communists was mostly just a way to galvanize Americans against them rather than an actual reason to fight them. Atheists, even us militant ones, do appreciate nuance in geopolitics rather more than you're giving us credit for. It always starts and always continues for a large group of reasons. No one has ever gone to war just because of religion. This sounds like arguments I've heard against gun regulation or requiring seat belts and bicycle helmets. Oh, it'll only save a few lives, not all of them, so we shouldn't do it at all. You accuse atheists of having a simplistic view of war, but this all-or-nothing approach is just as simplistic. The fact is that religion plays a huge role in a lot of military conflicts, and is often used at least as an excuse to be extremely crappy to other people. Take that away, and at the very least they're going to have to work harder to justify sending troops to kill other people, rather than playing on the public's emotions through their god belief. Yes, religion can be a part of it, but it's not the main reason all the time. Oh, calm your tits, Chelsea. I mean, what are you even trying to accomplish here? And they tend to, like, focus so much on criticizing and hating people for having a religion when that doesn't make any sense because they're not talking about people that are causing harm to other people. That depends on how you define harm, doesn't it? 
There are kinds other than physical, you know. Some people grow up terrified because of the boogeyman of God. Their parents have waved at them like a punishment paddle. And that's harm just as much as actually whacking them with that paddle would have been. Yeah, sometimes they do talk about people who can't cause harm to other people, but they usually talk about it in a way that is not friendly and not really doing anything to help prevent the harm. How would you know? Have you done surveys or studies or anything? Sounds more as though it's just being done in a manner you don't like. At the very least, I know that people have left religion because of my videos. I get told by them every now and then. If people are leaving these destructive, ignorant, backward faiths because of what I'm doing, I'd say I'm helping to negate the harm. Is it possible you don't like how it's being done because it's working? They're usually talking about how it's illogical to believe in a god when that doesn't make sense because people who believe in a god usually have logical reasons why they do. Wait, you were serious about that? Logic is subjective to the person. <laughs> Just because you can't prove something exists doesn't mean believing it exists is inherently damaging or harmful. Inherently? No, perhaps not. But if you're believing something that has no basis in fact, the chances that you're wrong are basically infinity to one. And when that something dictates not only how you're supposed to live your life, but also how you're supposed to treat other people, especially those who don't agree with you, and many of those ways aren't exactly neighborly, perhaps you might begin to see why some of us think it might be just a little bit on the harmful side, yes? There's a reason most atheists don't have paganism, Wicca, or Buddhism in our target sites. Because those aren't usually telling their followers to kill the infidel. Just having so much big focus on people that are doing nothing wrong doesn't make any sense to me. Well, that's a bit hypocritical, isn't it? God belief doesn't make any sense to atheists, and they'd like to see it stop. But arguing against religion doesn't make any sense to you, so you want that to stop. Why does your that doesn't make sense so it needs to stop take precedence over anybody else's? And they tend to be, like right now, with the situation with Islam, and there's this whole trend of people saying Islam is a religion of peace, and these people then counter that by saying, well, look at Al-Qaeda and ISIS and all them people, they're, they're Muslim and they're bad, therefore Islam is bad. Uh, it's usually the Christians saying that one, actually. Surf to Facebook. You'll find a lot of atheists siding with the Syrian refugees while it's the religious right wing with their panties in a wad over it all. <laughs> Granted, most militant atheists do think Islam is bad, but we don't need Al-Qaeda as an excuse. Just read their holy book. All of the three Abrahamic religions are ridiculously complicated, really old and up to complete interpretation, so their interpretation is correct. The peaceful interpretation is correct. If those religions really are handed down by a god, then there is only one correct interpretation, the one that god intended. All others are wrong. But if there is no god, then the religions are just made up, and so no interpretation is correct because they're all bullshit. So I suspect you're using a different definition of correct than the rest of the world. No one is causing harm by thinking Jesus was a person. If you take that belief purely at face value, no. But as I alluded to before, that concept comes with a lot of baggage that can really screw with someone's psyche. You keep accusing militant atheists of having a simplistic view of religion, but you've just demonstrated that we're not alone in that regard. Militant atheism is ridiculous, and they tend to think that science and religion are opposites, which doesn't make any sense at all because they can both be together. Only if you compartmentalize your beliefs, only if you ignore the parts of religion that science completely bowls over, barely noticing it's there. Science and religion can only coexist if both are treated like a serve-yourself buffet of ideas. Science isn't everything, because you need to realize that science is the study of the physical world, Religion and spirituality are the study of the non-physical world. Which, you know, definitely exists. We have books about it. It must be real. 
you do realize that religion makes claims about the physical world, lots of them, from the origin of the universe and humanity to floods and resurrections and women turning into pillars of salt, it would be both ignorant and foolish to claim that religion deals solely with some non-physical world that, so far as anybody has ever demonstrated, exists in books and nowhere else. And some people believe the non-physical world is a thing, some people don't. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. People think you're going to hell if you're gay, or if you use birth control, not just abortions. Apparently condoms are verboten to some of these nut jobs. Religious has some serious hang-ups about sex, you might have noticed. And for lots of other reasons. And so they feel it's their duty to stop us all. Because, afterlife. If all they did was believe in something I think is stupid, like that Star Trek is better than Star Wars, I could just ignore it. But they act on those beliefs, and that is where the line must be drawn.